Hi, in this video, we look at how to create an audio visualizer animation in Swift UI using random generated values. So we get different height for the rectangles anytime I preview the animation. So let's look at how this is done in Swift UI. First, we need to draw the rectangles to be used for the animation. Let's draw a rounded rectangle. Then we give it a corner radius of 2. Let's also define the size of the rectangle using the frame modifier. Let's give it a width of 3 and a height of 12. We don't see the rectangle yet because it is drawn in a black color. Then the background also has a black color. So what we can do is to add the foreground color modifier to override the color. You can now see we have a small rectangle appearing on the top right. By changing the size, you can now see it very well. I'm going to undo the change. For the animation I showed in the beginning of this video, it had six rectangles instead of one. So what we can do is to create a duplicate of the rectangle. To do that, we will use a horizontal container. So let's command click the rectangle and embed in an edge stack. Select the rectangle again and now repeat. You can see we have created five different copies. So I'm going to change this one to 6 so that we generate 6 copies. Let's now reduce the gap between them. To do that, we can pass the spacing modifier to the edge stack holding all the rectangles. So we will use a spacing of 1. You can now see we have all the 6 rectangles on the top right corner. Now we have a fixed height but we can generate the height of the rectangles randomly using the random generated modifier in Swift UI. So instead of setting the height to a fixed value, we can say dot random. It takes the parameter in, that is the range. We can for example say we want a random generated values from 1 up to 12. We can now see we get different height for each of the rectangles by changing the two value to a large number like 45. If I refresh again, you can see we get different heights for each of the rectangles. So this is how we are going to animate the height. So let's change it back to 12. To create this animation, we need a state variable that will be used to interpolate between the initial and the final values of the animation. Over here, I'm going to define a state variable. We have the initial state of the state variable set to false. We want this animation to run automatically. So after the foreground color modifier, let's add the onAppear modifier that will be used to trigger this animation without user interaction. So let's bring the state variable inside the onAppear modifier and put it inside the onAppear modifier and then toggle its state. So by doing this, we will be able to switch between the initial animation value and the final animation value. In this case, the random heights of the rectangles. So what we can do now is to use the state variable to animate the height. Let's remove the fifth value and then put dot random. This takes the parameter in, so that is the range. We will bring the state variable. And then we are going to create the animation using ternary conditional operation that has two values, true and false. So the first value that counts is the true value. So let's bring a question mark. And the true value comes after the question mark. Let's use 8 to 16. Next, we have to specify the fourth value. For this, we will use the range between 4 and 12. 
we don't see the animation yet but anytime i preview the code we get different heights for the rectangles so to see the animation we need to add the animation modifier above the on appear let's add the animation modifier the first parameter should be the is in function so let's use is in out and set the duration to 0.25 the value parameter should be the state variable. The animation has only one iteration, so anytime I preview, we see it just once. We can repeat it forever by adding the repeat forever modifier. We can pass the parameter auto reverses to the repeat forever modifier and set its value to true. So we now generate the highs randomly. Anytime I preview, we get different values for the height. We can even change the final value here to a larger number like 45 and preview again. You can see we now have a larger values for the height. So this is how to create this audio visualization animation in SwiftUI using random generated values. Thanks for watching.